Hey guys, welcome back. I've chosen 16 of the most popular three and a half inch FPV frames on the market. And in this video, although we're not going to take a deep dive on each frame, we're gonna line them up and we're gonna have a look at their specifications and how they compare. If you're looking to build a three and a half inch frame, then this video might be for you. So I think three and a half inch drones are becoming a lot more popular these days. And there's certainly a lot more on the market. Now, I mean, if you look at the size of this park I'm flying in here, I mean, I probably wouldn't fly a five inch drone here, but I feel quite good about flying a three and a half inch drone here. So when we look at these frames side by side, we're gonna look at a couple of metrics, like whether they're DJI 04 compatible, uh, the geometry, whether they're dead cat or X type geometry, uh, whether they're good for bando bashing. Uh, we're gonna look at things like price, whether they've got removable arms, of course, the frame weight, uh, also things like the uh, the mounting pattern for the flight controller and the VTX. Uh, we'll look at whether they're a slam frame or not. That's a low profile frame. And in the end, we're just gonna look at a few gotchas with some of the frames as well. Okay, so here's the 16 frames we're gonna compare in this video. Now, if you wanna see all of this data and more in a table form, I've got a screenshot at the end of the video. You can skip to that. But let's start first of all with the pricing. So if you're interested in price, you can pause the video here and have a bit of a look. But basically you should be paying about 45 to 50 US dollars for a decent frame. And actually the latest frame on the market, the Vanity Style Mini 3.5, that's right up there at $88. So quite expensive. So let's get on to the big question. Which ones of these frames are DJI 04 compatible? And we've got four. It's the 533 Little Flipper, the Flyfish RC Valador, the AOS 3.5 and the Venny Style Mini. Okay, there may be more by the time you're watching this video, but at the moment, these are the four that are 04 compatible. So what about having removable arms? Basically, it's only the four older frames that don't have removable arms. They've got the all-in-one bottom plate, the Gapasi Smart 35, the Geno 35, the Happy Model Crux 35, and the Dietine Roma 35. So if you're a bit averse to having the all-in-one bottom plate, then stay away from those four. So before we go on, let's just take a very quick look at frame weights. So I'm just going to throw a chart up here on the screen and show you all the weights. Now, just keep in mind, these are the weights as specified on the, on the manufacturer's webpage. And it's a little bit hard to tell. I mean, sometimes they're, they're specifying the weight with all of the TPU parts or without. Sometimes they have it including the TPU parts, but not the arm boots. So... Take it for what it is, and uh, that's it. Next up is dead cat or X geometry. Now, everyone's got their own personal preference if they like a dead cat frame or an X style geometry, but there's four frames that have a dead cat style geometry. And the first one is a 533 little flipper. And this one actually comes with uh, two keystone pieces, and you can choose between X geometry and dead cat. The next three actually only come as a dead cat frame, and it's the Diatone Roma F35, the Foxy Omega 3.5 and the Pirat Frames Little Matey. So if you adverse to dead cat frames, then stay away from those last three. So the next thing we want to look at is slam type frames. Now slam type frames will have the battery lowered down as low as possible and this keeps the mass centered and gives a good flight performance. So a slam type frame will have standoffs that are typically 20 millimeters in height. So let's have a look at the frames that fit this category. And the frames we've got here are the Geno 35, the 533 Little Flipper, the AOS 3.5 V5, the Superfly Flip Mini, the Rotorite Tank QS, and the Venice Style Mini. Next, we want to talk about the flight control mount. And a lot of these frames are actually lacking a key feature, and that is a 25.5 by 25.5 flight control mount. And these all-in-one flight controllers will quite often have a 35 to 40 amp ESC, so they're quite suitable for a three and a half inch drone. So if you've got one of these flight controllers, then let's have a look at the frames that you might want to stay away from. So here they are. Believe it or not, all of the frames you're seeing right now don't have a 25.5 by 25.5 mounting pattern for the flight controller. They're stack only, so that's 20 by 20 mounting pattern only. And a similar situation for the VTX mount. So all of the frames that you're seeing on the screen now do not have a 25.5 by 25.5 mounting pattern for the VTX. So it's 20 by 20 only for the VTX. Okay, so what about a bando basher? I've picked out three frames. So all the three frames you're seeing here have got ruggedized construction and they've all got three and a half to four millimeter arms. So this is my pick 
for a bando basher. Okay, and finally, here's my gotcha list. Things that you wouldn't think about when you're buying a frame, but it's going to come back to bite you when you start building. And the first one is a Crux 35. So this frame here is a bit of an older frame, and it's only got 14 millimeter camera spacing. So micro cameras only for the Crux 35. And the next gotcha is motor mounting. Now, if you go to a 5-inch frame, they're going to have 16mm motor mounting pattern. If you go much smaller than the 3.5-inch, they could have 6.6 .6 or 9mm mounting pattern. The 3.5-inch is that in between size, the ideal motors that you choose for your build could have 9mm or 12mm mounting pattern. Now, most frame manufacturers are going to accommodate for this by having these oblong-shaped holes here, and they'll actually accommodate 9x9 and 12x12 mounting pattern. But believe it or not, these three frames that you're seeing right now only have 9x9 mounting pattern for the motors. And these two frames actually only have 12x12 mounting pattern. So that's something you really have to keep in mind when you're choosing a frame. And you might want to think about what motors you're going to mount on it before you choose and buy the frame. Okay, so that's it. That's my roundup of 3.5 inch FPV frames. Which one are you going to build? Get down in the comments and let me know. Till next time, happy flying.